Good morning, good Monday morning. Greetings to you, Pastor Ken Harvest Church. Hope you had a good weekend and joined us Monday morning celebrating Dr. Martin Luther King Day. And uh, praise the Lord for uh, uh, people of vision, right? People of vision. And that's what I want to talk about a little bit this week. Uh, Proverbs 29, 18 says, where there is no vision, the people tend just to wander around. I don't want you wandering around all year. Come on, right? Let's get a little focus, right? Uh, you know, we're in the middle of the month already, and I'm sure we jumped into the new year with some anticipation of, wow, I'm going to do better. I'm going to be better. I'm going to change some things. And now we're a few weeks in, and uh, my question on this Monday morning would be, how are you doing with that? How are you doing with that? You know, I've been sharing with us at Harvest Church, as I did again on yesterday, about how vision without strategy is just good intention. So my question will be, what's your plan? That's what I'm talk about this week. What's your plan? How do I find that plan? Well, the Bible is a, is a key guide for me in my life. You know, certainly I need to be connected with God who has a good plan for my life, right? Jeremiah 29, 11, for I am the Lord. I know the plans I have for you to give you a future and a hope. I quote that verse often. So I know that that vision and purpose and plan for my life is going to come from God. So I need to get connected to God. How do I get connected to God? Through Jesus Christ. They're asking him to forgive me my sins, come into my life, and I get connected with God. That's the first step, to have God, his word, as your guide this year. So let's pray that prayer. Will you pray it with me? Come on, th that simple prayer. Lord, I pray today. Come on, pray with me. Lord, I pray today, this Monday morning, that you will be my guide. You will lead me throughout this year that I might live pleasing to you in Jesus' name. Amen. That's a good goal. I'll see you in the morning.